So today, this is my friend, Jenna. She's a nurse practitioner. She um, is super into like holistic medicines and stuff. So she does do like traditional medicine, but she like has a preference for um, like I guess you could say naturopathic remedies first and then uh, traditional Western medicine after. Yeah, so I'm a huge advocate for integrative medicine, essentially using uh, natural modalities before allopathic medicine. Mm -hmm. yeah. So natural modalities being, um, can you give me some examples? Yeah, so different things that, everyday stuff that people would think about, massage, herbs, um, oils, and most importantly food because that's a huge foundation for health. I think that people can heal their bodies from the inside out um, if they treat the inside the way that they're supposed to. Yeah, and there's a big movement on the gut, um, gut health and the microbiome around the gut, and that's like the core of our immune system. Mm -hmm. So gut health is something I think that people push aside and don't really think about anymore, especially with this mass increase of antibiotic treatment for viral infections. Since we're in a society where, the, I guess in the United States, that's just everybody's mentality to be really busy. Mm -hmm. So they just go to like quicker places like McDonald's or like, I don't know, just like places that you don't know what's going into your food. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And it's modified and it's just full of refined sugars and carbohydrates. And essentially, it's just overloading our gut and our liver yeah. and the detoxification process for our bodies. If you knew, like on a cellular level, what your body was doing all of the time with all of the environmental um, exposures that it comes in contact with, your body is constantly being detoxed. And so just increasing that load really is just making things a lot worse. People don't understand all the things that they come into contact with on a daily basis. So for example, right when you wake up, you're being exposed to like all the pathogens in your house. And then you're coming outside and the air quality outside, like it's like there's a pretty high pollution rate in like pretty much any city now, right? Yeah, I think that it's, there are certain things that we can't really avoid, such as environmental exposure, yeah. like our air. Um, and you know, things inside of your house, you really can try to change. Most importantly, I think it's, there's this huge, um, movement of information that has come to light about the products that we're using every day. So yeah. things that we're putting on and inside of our body ultimately are affecting us long term and we don't know the consequences of that. So no. shampoo, hand soaps, face wash, cleaning products all have chemicals in them that have So basically not from the time regulated. that you from the time that you wake up to like the time that you go to bed you're using all these things that you didn't make yourself. You have no idea what's in any of it. Yeah. So just that and then the the medication, the prescription pharmaceutical industry is just overloading people down with prescription medication and pills essentially are just a band-aid to whatever the symptoms are rather than getting to the root cause of the disease process and treating that. Um, we're just kind of hoping to put a band-aid on it and then you end up getting a pill for the side effects of the pill that you're taking. So. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, but I guess not to say that like there's like Understandably, I need for like medication sometimes, like pharmaceuticals. Yeah. yeah, there's a time and a place for medications, but I don't think that every patient should be treated the exact as the, the same as the last patient. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in our society, doctors are trained to treat the symptom and not the person. I think that the more we just get the word out and the more we're able to educate people and empower them to just be their own advocates and just again allowing them to see what what is happening to our society and being a nurse practitioner first you know typically the providers are in this in this line of therapy so if you know we're not going to get answers unless we stand and ask questions and even if you're standing alone it's still worth it because the question is worth asking and if it's not a secret and if it's not hidden we should be able to have the answer we're, we were nurses first and i think that nurses are trained to see the whole person so that includes the environment, that includes the family, that includes their lifestyle. Rather than just treating the symptom or rather than just treating the disease itself, we just naturally are trained to dig a little bit deeper and see what's actually causing the issues. And so that's where integrative and functional medicine come in. And I think that those are two um, really up and coming um, areas of health that are going to serve our society very well, mm -hmm. as well as um, gene mapping. And there's just a whole slew of things yeah. that yeah, I'm a whole really bunch of excited. new stuff that's coming out. Yeah, I'm Absolutely. super excited for the future and yeah. just to be able to treat patients. Thank you so much for talking to me about this. You're so welcome. This is You're amazing. You're so welcome, yeah. Um, and if anybody has questions about anything, always reading and researching and I am 
always yeah open to giving you my advice but I think the most important thing is if somebody asks me something I'm gonna tell you both sides so even though my personal opinion is leans more towards natural treatments mm -hmm. I'll give you whatever information I have to support both and then yeah. allow you to choose what works best for you and your family because everybody's different yeah everybody's different and again it's ultimately it's your choice mm -hmm. so